and all the way live and TME are enjoying the Rex atmosphere like no one else can. They are in the crowd jumping up and down mosh pit style with everyone here in attendance. And I gotta say, it looks like the King's Ransom none too happy with the enthusiastic reception that the main event got. Doesn't really feel like they've picked up on that party vibe, Joe. Well, the Ransom's certainly the away team, in a manner of speaking, as this crowd electric for the main event, very familiar with their successes. But I'll pose this to you, Jay Worth. Very rarely, if ever, have I seen a tag team that can be a physical match to the main event quite like King's Ransom it seems to be. Very true. The uh, main event tends to be the big men in charge, the uh, bullies in the ring, so to speak. I don't know that that game plan is going to work against men the size of the King's Ransom. Well, time will certainly tell in that regard. As we see the calm before the storm, a little bit of a uh, rock, paper, scissors game. I'm not sure what the uh, preference would be as far as you want to start out with Duke or start out with Gannon, man. That's six of one, half a dozen of the other. Yeah, it's like, would you rather be shot by a Desert Eagle or by a 357? I believe that is Leonis in the ring to start out for the King's Ransom. And that is Pro Wrestling's all-star, Gannon Jones Jr., starting out for the main event. Gannon is the quicker and more agile of the two, but he's always got that playbook on the forearm, Jay Worth. Jay, well, it's good to have a strategy. And Gannon getting the crowd behind them yet again. Main event with the experience advantage. Kings Ransom only about a year and a half in the game. I followed the career of Gannon Jones Jr. for about the past four years now, and Duke Davis came up right behind him, gaining about four or five years, Duke just a little bit under that, as we see a little bit of feeling out process, but you notice the hesitation, you notice the tentative nature on both of these teams, they know, that's respect, that's knowing what your opponents are capable of doing and wanting to not make a mistake at all costs. Well, you look across the ring and you see a man that size, even if you are approximately the same size, you understand just what someone that big is capable of. You don't want to just rush into them. And again, this is going to be an interesting uh, situation as far as strategy because both men love to overpower. They love to smother their opponents with offense. That may not be the case this time around for all of the above. It's very even keel. Definitely, definitely. I, I would say both teams are going to have to adapt from what they're used to if they want to pick up a win here tonight at WrestleRex. And we've talked about the lion puns, Jayworth. I think the best word, oh. as a nice takedown by Leonis, the most operative word for all these four is dominance. They love to showcase their dominance. They love to show that they're the baddest guy on the block, and we'll see who gets a chance to live up to that reputation that both have earned in different parts of the country. Time out, time out. Tag. But I, I, I'm hesitant to say he's a little shocked, but I think Gannon Jones Jr. wasn't expecting to get knocked down there. Oh, and a tag. Tag to Maximus. And the chance of Duke come out. And Duke hit right in the midsection. And Duke is the metahuman. He's a shade under six foot six. He can do things no other physical specimen in this area can do, but get shut down right away by the brothers Khan. And again, this is the uh, oh no. Oh. This is not the type of match that the main event is used to wrestle. Not the least. And the main event certainly, again, have been on the radar of many top organizations. 
They've been around a five or six state radius honing their craft. You may have seen the main event. They were on the uh, very first Black Craft Wrestling show. A hard knife that chop. Dunks Duke Davis for a moment, but a double handful of hair, and now the metahuman gonna show what he's made of. Oh. oh, I heard the impact up here, Joe. A deep, hard thud upon impact with Leonis. Tag back in again at Jones Jr. Jones Jr. about 6'5 in his own right. Hard shot. Oh. And just punched the skull of Leonis. Oh, a little bit of T-bone was that? Post the crowd. Let them know that they're ready to play ball now. A reversal and shot from behind by Maximus. Gannett Jones Jr. did not see that coming. Realizes it now and this could create an all-important distraction as you see Maximus creates the diversion once again. TME been outsmarted here. Leonis with Duke now on the outside. Double team on Gannon. Up and over and just pulled that throw right down across that top uh, that top rope. I say rope, but really it's a cable. Yeah, tightly enforced. Certainly whiplash-like effect. And that contact is made. And kicks right to now. Both men in the ring. Come on, referee, do something. Are you going to try and tell either of those men what to do? Well, that's not my job. No. But look at them. I'd expect the zebra in the ring to have some kind of institutional control here, which thankfully he does right now, but still being manipulated because behind the back of the official Gannon getting choked. Well, you can only control one man at a time. Well, you're quick to defend the King's Ransom, and I know they come in with uh, a lot of hype and a lot of credentials, but they could set uh, the entire eastern half of the United States on notice with the successes of a victory here tonight. You talk about Blackcraft for CME. King's Ransom has appeared in OVW, in addition to all over Las Vegas and surrounding areas. And again, you look at those mentors, masters of psychology like Al Snow and Jake Roberts. Certainly they came in with a game plan. Oh, absolutely. And let's make no mistake about it, the win against TME, should they get it, would definitely put a pin for them in the map on the East Coast. Open things up here for them. Ooh. Oh! And a big jumping shot right to the head of Gannon Davis Jr. Yeah. Notice both members of Ransom were involved in that exchange. And Duke Davis has had enough. Duke's temper is getting the better of him, and that only opens the door further for the King's Ransom double team. I'm not defending it, I'm just saying it's effective. Crowd coming alive for TME. You would not want an angry, ticked off Duke Davis looking at you. Look at Gannon elevate his opponent. Had that leg hook, might have been going for a back suplex. And, and again, taunting Duke Davis. You, I, you gotta have a, a pretty strong sense of self-worth and determination to think I'm going to taunt Duke Davis and get away with it. At least enough confidence to believe that Duke won't get another chance in this matchup legally as Gannon fights out of the corner. But again from behind, that's Maximus and oh! Leonis just struck his younger brother! Can Gannon find his corner? Oh, Leonis working toward it. Hold it, hold it. Oh, oh, six foot five, it's a Curry. He's almost there. Pro Wrestling's All-Star makes the tag. The mood swings now. The clothesline, back elbow. <laughs> Marching him around. Raw right power. Up. Straight up intensity from the metahuman. A long way to come down for a power slam. Duke Davis is six foot forever tall. This crowd recognizes the power. Davis possesses. This could be it. Made in that signature maneuver. Gannon go for the drop. Oh. Like a cut off. Main event of one many championship matches that way. 
but the brothers Khan are a step ahead. Davis up. Oh! oh! That's called the King's Landing! And that could be the end for the main event! And they're wasting time. They should be going for a pin right now, Joe. Oh. Could this be all? Get in the interruption! To your point about taking too much time, a locked cover on top of it, you don't ever want to underestimate the main event. They, they hurt the crowd. They wanted to make a point. They just should have made it a little quicker. Oh. And now huge strength to get... A near six foot six man on his shoulders, Gannon interrupts the double team attempt. Duke escapes. Wait a minute. Up, up. Got it that time. High chop kicks by Buster. Duke on top. Main event victorious. 